Good morning world from Texas, from Flatonia. That's what the town name is called, Flatonia. I'm at the Amigos truck stop. It's like a little mini version of Mexico when you go in there, you just wanna start dancing. The music just cranked inside there. <laughs> it was good, I got myself a coffee, got the truck all ready to go. I'm gonna go pick up my load just north of Houston. I have four pieces to pick up and I'm gonna weigh 27,000 pounds. And those pieces are going to Winnipeg, Manitoba, close to my home. So let's go get them. Time to go. Stuff to do, freight to pick up. Not making any money just sitting around here. all we got so far we have all of the space to fill up yet oh, i'm gonna go in there and clean up that cardboard okay we have all of this space in here yet and up front here so this is just a partial i'm gonna try to find me something else for the back here on the way home but uh we'll see i really do hope they find me something else i'd like to fill this trailer up to go home but for now, this is all we got. So, uh, we're gonna head out. Well, I just stopped in here for a coffee. 
parking. I'm not too far away from where I loaded. Just down the street. Stopped here, had a nice chicken dinner. Grab myself a coffee. Turn left and now right. the sun's Turn going down already. So it's time to go home. Dragging ourselves up on up. Interstate 45 northbound. In 300 meters, take the entrance to the left on I-45 north. You saw me going to the scale there. I had a feeling that I loaded up my drives a little too heavy. I put that stuff too far to the front. I should have put it further back or spread it out. My mistake. I wasn't overweight, but I was at 33,460 pounds on my drives and only 20,000 on the triaxle on the back. So I'm, I'm legal, but I, I also only have about a third of a tank of fuel and I wanted to fuel. And I need to put about a thousand pounds of fuel into my truck. So I would have been overweight with my fuel. So what I did, I only had 9,900 pounds on my steers. You already know what I did, right? You remember that fifth wheel that we slid all the way back, back home before we left on this trip? I moved it forward about six inches. That moved about 550 pounds off my drives onto my steer tires. Now I'm at 10,500 on my steer tires and I'm at about 33,000 on my drive. So now I have room for 1,000 pounds of fuel, which is exactly what I need. Problem solving on the go. I don't know how people do it without being able to slide the fifth wheel at least. I wish these trailers had sliding axles on the trailers too, that would that'd be awesome. But all the trailers I pull have fixed axles. So that creates a challenge right there. But at least I can slide that fifth wheel, right? Ah, uh, it's too shadowy in there to even see it. But yeah, moved it forward about six inches and that did the trick. Moved the weight from these tires onto the steers up there so that I can fill these things up. I do just have to keep in mind now that uh, 
my trailer's coming closer to my headache rack than before. I gave it plenty of space. Remember, we stretched it all the way out. Uh, now it's just a little bit closer, so I just gotta be careful if I come down a sharp driveway onto a level road, like I was telling you in that video a few days ago before we left, just gotta be careful with my corners like that, but I think we'll be just fine. I still have plenty of space between there. Just not as much right now. Still lots of space. You have five hours and 16 minutes of remaining drive time. All right, well, you heard her. Another five hours left of driving. We're south of Dallas right now. I want to get through Dallas and through Oklahoma City tonight yet, if I can. But I'm stopping to fuel in Oklahoma City. I scale here at the Loves, but fuel is cheaper in Oklahoma City. A lot cheaper, <laughs> at least on my fuel card. it a little closer than usual today. <laughs> I really wanted that cheap juice. Oklahoma City.
I'm pretty sure that was the same car. I saw him go flying past me before. Lightning McQueen over there. Rolled it. Jeez, oh boy. I bet they're hurt. I hope not, but that didn't look good. This is Guthrie, Oklahoma. And this is Guthrie's Travel Plaza. I like these smaller ones rather than the big ones. I was watching uh, Trucking with Schmidt, his video today that he released, and uh, he was talking about he does the same thing. And when he said it, I just <laughs> kind of chuckles. Like, I do the exact same thing. I avoid those big brand name truck stops as much as I can now. I used to park there all the time, but uh, you know, like there's a Loves across the street. I fueled up at the Pilot. If I have a choice to park at a small truck stop like this, I'll take this one every time. I like the parking lot better. Easier in, easier out to the parking spots. It's easy to back in. There's not these like sharp right angles to get into your parking spot. Uh, it seems all of the, uh, like almost everybody seems to crowd into those big ones right away. Like Loves, uh, Pilot, Flying J, TA, Petrol Stopping Centers. They're always packed full. First thing, because everybody goes to those ones, right? I like going to the smaller ones that seem to get passed over. There's always parking. Yeah, the parking lot might be gravel sometimes. This one's paved. Eh, sometimes it might be a little darker. Usually they're pretty well lit nowadays, though. I like them better. They're quieter. And not as much traffic in and out. And not as many NASCAR drivers just going flying through here. I agree with him on that. I agree with Kurt. I like these stops better. So, here we are. I'm really tired. It's it's late. Or should I say it's early? One of the two. The sun is going to be coming up in a couple of hours. And we're still stuck on night shift. But that's okay, because uh, from here, we're going to get up tomorrow. We're going to drive through half the day tomorrow and into the night tomorrow. And then the next day, we'll have a bit of a shorter day to get home. I might get home at a decent time, hopefully. I'm trying to surprise my wife and get home on Friday. Today's a Wednesday when I'm filming this. I know that's irrelevant to you when you're watching this. You could be watching this at any point in the future, but just to give you a reference, I told my wife that I was going to be home on Saturday. And I'm sticking to that because that's when I th think I'm going to be home. But there's a chance I could get home Friday evening. And I'm not going to tell her. Until I'm like, until I'm like 100% sure. Like, I'm not just going to... I guess I could. I wasn't thinking of just like gonna go show up at the house, open the door, and say surprise. I don't want to scare her. It's like someone's barging into the house when she's not expecting it, right? That's a good way to get hurt. <laughs> uh, but uh, if she thinks I'm gonna be there on Saturday, I think it'd be really cool to show up there and be like, give her a call, be like, hey, I'll see you in an hour. I'm gonna be home tonight instead on Friday. That'd be cool. And see little Theo. I miss that little guy so much. Ah, he's starting to try to stand up now. So he's got crawling down pat. Down pat, he's just motoring around. And he's stood up a few times. Not like balancing, but you know, stood up on his legs, leaning on a box or something. And he's starting to learn his sounds. Hasn't formed any words. He doesn't know what the words mean yet, I don't think. But uh, he's trying. He's making all kinds of different sounds and stuff. And... Ah, can't wait to get home. Okay, anyways, in order to get home, I gotta go back there and go to bed so that I can wake up tomorrow and keep driving. We are 1,700 kilometers from home yet. That is about, well, 1,600 is 1,000 miles. So about 1,660 miles. No, what am I saying? Kilometers, Josh, kilometers. Oh, you know, I'm gonna have to do math for you now. One second, where's my calculator? One second. This is 2024. I have a calculator everywhere. I don't do math in my head. Told my teacher I wouldn't have to. No. Okay, uh, so 1,711 kilometers. Divide that by 1.61. 1,062 kilometers. That's what I was thinking in my head, but it kept coming out as like 1,600. Not 1,600, 1,060. That's... That's what I was thinking. 
in my defense. I had it right in here. It just wasn't right when it came out here. <laughs> yep, definitely time to go lay down. We'll see you guys tomorrow. If you haven't already, I know a lot of you haven't, hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps me out a lot. And what helps me out more than anything is when you guys share my videos. I always appreciate that. If you're on Facebook or X, that's where you can find me other than on YouTube here. Uh, you can share the video straight from here to whatever social media platform you want to. Send them right here to my YouTube page to watch. If you enjoyed it and you made it this far in the video, I was able to keep your attention for this long. Chances are you probably have some friends or family that might like it too. So, Will you be my ambassador and will you share my videos and tell the world about me? So that we can build a, a bigger online family here and get move into the future and see where this goes. I'll see you tomorrow. Pay attention out there on the roads. There's crazy people everywhere. And keep your stick on the ice.